So by now we have installed Bootstrap, and by that I mean we have uh, opened up our Visual Studio Code. We have a uh, folder called Bootstrap where we downloaded the uh, CSS and JavaScript documents that are needed to make things run. Uh, we created this hello.html, which right off the bat uh, pulls off uh, the uh, CSS and the uh, JavaScript that we need. And uh, next, uh, we're going to build an index page and we're going to start to use some of the components that uh, are available to us uh, via Bootstrap. One thing that's going to help us and at least help me in uh, coding uh, using Visual Studio Code is if I go to the view menu and tell it then to uh, do the word wrap. I'm going to toggle the word wrap. There's a shortcut for it. But then this way I can see everything. If it doesn't fit in one line, it just goes to the next one. And when it's numbered, you see that this is still number nine. Line nine has three elements to it. It's just a long line and it's wrapping it around. Uh, because we're going to be running it some long code and uh, this is easier to read. So next, uh, we're going to go uh, into the uh, instructions for this assignment. It's 5.1 install bootstrap. Uh, we've actually, we've already done that. This assignment is to build a simple bootstrap layout. So um, what that entails is that we're going to uh, visit the bootstrap page. We have already got the components, uh, or rather the CSS and JavaScript, like I said, installed. We're going to visit the components in the uh, bootstrap page documentation. And this long list in the documentation, and this is uh, bootstrap 4.1. That's the one, the current one uh, at this date. This is one we're using. The links on the left will take you to all kinds of coding. Bootstrap is just basically a whole bunch of code that's already been written out and we're just going to copy and paste what we need. Uh, the first thing that I would like to do is get uh, a, uh, a sample page so that we can actually get uh, the, uh, the thing started with the uh, starter template. We used a starter template before with the first page. So this is basically the same thing. I'm going to travel to this code, the, the first one up here, starter template. Uh, actually, this is version 4.3, so it's even newer than I expected. I'll copy that to the desktop or rather to the uh, clipboard and go back to Visual Studio Code where inside my bootstrap folder, I'm already there. I'm going to create a new file and call this one index.html. You could call it .htm as well. HTML and HTM are basically the same thing. Nowadays, you just want to stick with HTML. That's what everybody uses. Be like the cool kids. And click anywhere at the beginning of the uh, document. I'm going to press Control V to paste and save file save Control s is your shortcut on windows on a mac it's command s and now we have our starter page basically the same one that we had before just uh, it's titled hello world and it has a header that says hello world we're not going to use this hello world again we already have a hello world page instead we're going to see about getting some components into the page uh, including some navigation items so if I close uh, what I had opened before and look at the instructions, uh, the next thing we're going to do is get the nav bar. So the nav bar is just a navigation bar, something that's going to be on top. It's going to allow us to uh, add navigation elements. Now, these don't come pre-made. They come pre-programmed. So that means all we're doing is just copying the code and pasting it into our page so that we know what it looks like. Later on, we'll tell it where we want it to go. Uh, currently, we don't really need it to go anywhere. So if I go back to my, actually, this page and go back to the components page, on the left is an alphabetical, in alphabetical order, it's a list of all the components. And since we want to do navbar, I'll visit navbar. It uh, tells you everything about it, by the way, every, all the elements, how they worked and how you can, uh, put them and tell them, you know, how to set up the links correctly, how to change the codes, etc. Uh, but right now we just want to do a big copy paste because, uh, we just want to see how this thing works. So here's the nav bar. This is what it might end up looking like. Nav bar, home link, drop down, etc. Uh, those are elements in the navigation bar that 
code I'm going to copy and take it back into Visual Studio Code. After body, I'll put in an extra space and just pressing enter and paste what I just copied. Here is the code. Now I can take a look at this now if I save it, file, save, and I have a blank browser window open. I'm going to tell it, press control O and tell it where I want it to go. Uh, well, I'm already in the bootstrap folder. Here's the index file I just created. And it also opens up and uh, it shows me the navbar. Navbar, uh, I guess the one that I copied, the default one is the light. And if I go look at my code, I see that what I pasted is the, uh, the navbar light with the background light. And in the documentation, it tells us how to change color schemes. Some of them are already pre-programmed. We can change light to dark in both instances here. So the navbar dark with the background dark. I'll save, file, save. And uh, reload the page. And now I have a darker uh, navbar. Okay, so that was just a quick thing. And, and if I hover on top of navbar, you see how this is primed to have a link put somewhere. Same thing with home, with link, drop down. It's already a drop down menu that has multiple actions. And this last one is just disabled, just to show us what it would look like if we didn't want it to attract attention. Now, all of this is encoded in text, so if I wanted to change the name of the branding on this page, uh, for starters, the title is not going to be Hello World, it's going to be My Page, so I'll put in my name, My Page, Francisco's Page, and uh, look for the class here, Navbar Brand, and the Navbar, I'm going to call this My Bootstrap. Francisco's bootstrap page and save that control s and uh, well I'm not I don't have any real links to add right now just know that it's as simple as that to change the items on the button and later on we can figure out how we can or where we want the links to go uh, next thing I, since I already have this navigation bar that I asked you to do uh, is to look for another element in the uh, document and that's going to be at a jumbotron so let me jump back to the components page on the left uh, they're in alphabetical order so jumbotron's right there and basically the jumbotron is just a big banner that right now it starts as gray but later on we can we can change it uh, there's multiple uh, versions of it. The one will it's already set up so that it's just a box inside that can be uh, packaged. Another one is one that will flex all the way across, and actually they're all, they're both uh, flexible. So since this is a um, responsive framework, it'll always go all the way out. So I'm gonna copy the first jumbotron, go back to my uh, Visual Studio Code, and Notice how every time that I copy and paste something, it's uh, they're encapsulated inside these uh, tags. This one is a navigation, just like we learned in the other CSS assignment. NAV is a uh, contextual, uh, rather it's a uh, a semantic tag. It tells us what it does. Um, they used to be all divs, but now we have things like nav. And right after that nav, I'm going to paste the copy, or rather paste the code that I just copied and this one is actually a div because Jumbotron is exclusive to Bootstrap so there's no Jumbotron tag but so we say it's a div with the class of Jumbotron it tells us what the text is and here hello world I'm gonna, I'm gonna say welcome to my Bootstrap page and this can say something else if you want I'm just going to keep it for now pressing control s to save reloading it and now my uh, page is taking shape uh, next in the list is i want to close this uh, after we do the jumbotron we're going to navigate to the layout link and then find out uh, where the grid is uh, this uh, referring to the css grid so components page uh, find layout 
and then grid appears right below and we're gonna maybe get the uh, three columns the first thing at the very top basically it split it splits the design into three columns i'll copy that and bring it back over here to after the div press uh, enter a couple of times and paste control v now this is uh, within a container class division and there's three of them they all say the same thing right now if you want to add some dummy copy by all means do if you can't think of any if you can't find any you can copy the bootstrap uh, element at the bottom here it's just some text i'll copy that come back to the uh, uh, visual studio code and i'll paste it in all instances and at some point i lost my view to wrap so i'll turn it on again do the same thing with the second one pressing control v to paste and i'm dragging and selecting and control v to replace also since i'm going to save this and see what it looks like and it's just a little raw right now but uh, we can at least give it a little bit of personality if right before the text begins on each one we open up a tag with a header three h3 and just say uh header one since these are just all samples and so as not to type all over again i'll copy that one and paste it after the second instance and then the third instance and just so that we know we're dealing with different things i'll change it to two and three this text that i pasted i see i could actually have encapsulated it within paragraph marks or paragraph tags so i'll do that just be sure that they open and close in the right place i should have done this at the beginning uh, so that we could have just copied and pasted the whole thing which i'm doing now okay i'll save that and reload this page and here's header one header two header three so this is our sample page it's beginning to take shape even though it has nothing except that we have a navigation we have uh, a uh, we have a jumbotron that could uh, have uh, more content than what it shows here it's got a button which we could have more of and we have some uh, content at the bottom that's just dummy content we could also use i guess at the bottom a some sort of a a footer uh, one thing that you should start to look into is that this is a responsive page. And what I mean by that is that if you were to be looking at this on your phone, on your tablet, and you were to make it that size, notice how the navigation bar is beginning to change its appearance and that now all that navigation, all the navigation items that we had up there collapsed and we have a menu that we can drop down. We have... Uh, uh, misspelled name mine i'll change that and all of the uh, elements are beginning to stack on top of each other so it's a top-down design unless of course you get to a certain width and this could be changed so that even at this stage it could be just one or two is, instead of three bootstrap has lots of options and there's lots of code and i know that there's just a lot to look at it's one one of these things that you should look step by step and and uh, this could be its own course all its own uh, but we got this far and i said that yes we would probably need to get something at the bottom so let's do that uh, i don't think that this is in the directions but if you go back to elements and let me navigate to that page in the components page uh, on the left i uh, I think it's navs that will have some more navigation sort of like the nav bar that we have up at the top that they have at the top these are just navs that uh have links and some of them are left justified and i think that this one is centered so this one that's center i think that i would like it at the bottom because i might be able to use it at the bottom i'll copy the uh, code for it come back find the last division press enter a couple of times paste what i just copied and because this is still html in between the div and the unordered list that uh, begins the uh, the uh, link that we just uh, pasted i'm going to add a horizontal rule so open up an angle bracket hr and close it 
So if I save, file save, I will then reload and see what it looks like on Chrome. It's all the elements that we have. We have a horizontal roll, goes all the way across, and then the links that I just added. So this page doesn't say much, but it tells a lot that it's a page. It's got, uh, it's got the possibility of, of uh, hosting content. It can be designed differently. It can be made into your own page. And, and most importantly, it's ready to publish uh, using JavaScript to your or rather using github to your uh, site so let me do that right now i'm coming back to visual studio code going to my git uh, icon telling it then to push it and away it goes i can put in the message here that i added a new index file to bootstrap and let me spell that correctly bootstrap actually it's spelled correctly and i will commit this commit all and try pushing it again and away it goes and while i'm waiting for that to publish i guess this would be a good time also to go back into my uh, navigator the explorer and in my index my main index page this one not this one Actually, that's week four in this one, uh, where I have hello world, my name is, etc. The one that everybody sees first. And I need to view this with a wrap again. I guess I got to do that for each page. And I'm going to copy the last link on my line 12. So control C to copy, pressing enter right after. And now inside of Bootstrap, there is an index.html and it's still week five and i'm going to say that i published my first bootstrap page i already did that i will just add to say that i uh, created a new index html with bootstrap components and i'll save that and same process go to the git and tell it to commit I'll commit all and uh, just uh, update it index links and press enter to confirm and hopefully when i push it it takes it with it I'll go to my page and reload. I see my page with all the changes that we added, all the uh, new stuff that it's got. And I can find my index page by just uh, telling it to go to my address. Not necessarily the one online, rather the one here on my disk which is index.html and here's my new link created a new index.html with bootstrap components i click on that it takes me to the new page that we just created so once this gets to uh, be published in and actually this one already is because i'm looking at it online uh, i need you then to get your username github.io slash bootstrap slash index.html and this is the URL that I'd like for you to turn in for assignment 5.1. Thank you.